What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katya, and our today's lesson is going to be short and sweet. We're going to learn five C2 brief expressions that will increase your vocabulary and come in handy when taking your CAE and CPE exams. Are you ready? So take your notebook and let's go. The first expression we're going to learn today is at your fingertips. At your fingertips. If you have something at your fingertips, it means that it's easily available to you. And it's usually used to refer to information, data or statistics. In Spanish, al alcance de tu mano. An example sentence, nowadays we have so much information at our fingertips. Also, we can use this expression for something that is physically within our reach. For example, I'd like to rent an apartment downtown in Dublin so that we have everything we need at our fingertips. And now let's move on to our expression number two, which is on the spot. On the spot. It means immediately or right away. In Spanish, de inmediato o ya mismo. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, she had to decide on the spot whether or not to accept the job offer. And another example, when the scandal broke, the manager had to give explanations on the spot. Let's continue our expression number three, at an advantage. At an advantage. It means to be in a better position to succeed. In Spanish, in ventaja o jugar con ventaja. An example sentence, having a lot of valuable work experience places you at an advantage in a job interview. And the opposite of to be at an advantage is to be at a disadvantage. It means that you're less likely to succeed than other people or things. In Spanish, it's estar en desventaja. For example, anyone who doesn't speak English fluently is at a serious disadvantage when looking for a job. Let's move on to our expression number four, on the face of it. On the face of it. This expression describes how a situation seems on the surface, suggesting that your opinion may change when you know or learn more about the subject. In Spanish, it's a primera vista. And now two examples. The first one, on the face of it, being famous and rich sounds ideal, but all the glitters is not gold. No todo es oro, lo que reluce. And the second example, on the face of it, self-driving cars seem perfect, but I wonder if they will be totally safe. And last but not least, to be liable to. To be liable to. It means to be very likely to happen. It's a synonym of to be likely to. In Spanish, es muy posible que pase algo. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, the government is liable to ban cars in the city center. And the last example, you're liable to improve your English if you subscribe to my channel. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this English bit. If you did, don't forget to check out the first edition with five more advanced expressions. And of course, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up, to subscribe to the channel and do my daily quiz on Instagram. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao for now!